What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're back out on the lake today and today we're trying to catch kokanee salmon. Now I've never caught a salmon in freshwater. I've tried a couple times uh, recently actually but no luck. So today I'm coming to a secret little honey hole of my buddy Ensei's. Uh, shout out to him for taking us out here. So I think we're gonna do, you know, there's no guarantees in fishing. We never like to guarantee but he said as close as it's gonna get to guaranteed catch. So it should be an exciting episode. We're gonna see if we can get some kokanee. So what I have, a couple of little setups here. This is one of them, it's called a wedding ring. Just basically a little spinner to get some flash down there. I got a downrigger. I got a few interesting little things that I've never tried before. So I'll show you as I'm going through today. We're basically just pedaling over to the spot right now. So once we get there, I'll show you the little setup and then we'll get fishing. All right guys, we're gonna start our troll here. So. Here's what we got. We got a flasher. This one's gonna have a flasher with a little spinner hoochie. Actually, it's a little messed up here. Let me fix that. There we go. With the little spinner on a hoochie. Oh, we're marking a lot of fish. Okay, hold up. I gotta get this back. I'll show you it again later. But there's a ton of fish right here. Holy smokes. So I'm gonna set this back. I would not be surprised if this got hit like instantly. So we set that back. So I have my downrigger here, the normal, like you see me salmon troll, this is what I use. Um, little kayak downrigger. So I'll set that one back and I'm gonna drop that down. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna drop that down about 15 feet. And 15 feet down, I have a little marker. You might be able to see it there. You see those little green, I put a little bobber stop right there. So. That's my marker for 15 feet. So once it gets to there, I actually have another another clip. So this is a stacking clip. So I can put two lines on this one downrigger cable. So if you're familiar with salmon fishing in the ocean, a lot of a lot of boats will use this if you're fishing multiple rods. So anyways, I gotta get this down. We're barking a ton of fish right here. This is my other setup, the little spinner that I was telling you about at the beginning. I'll show you the, the setups again before the end of the video, but I want to get them down because I'm marking a lot of fish right here. Okay, so that's back a little ways. Now I'm going to get this and same way I set up on the first one. I'm going to set this into the cable here. Or sorry, set it into a little clothespin like thing. And then this one, now I can drop it down another, I don't know how far, let's see, let's go down to, I'm gonna go down another 20 feet. Actually, let's see. Yeah, let's do that, 20 feet. So then my top line, the top setup, which is this one right here, this one's at 20 feet. And then my bottom setup, which is this other rod right here, the first one that I clipped on, oops, that one is at about 35 feet. So you just add 15 feet to that because that's how much farther down deeper this one is. So that's set up. Check our drags. Both feel pretty good. It's a little tight. Let's loosen that a little bit. All right. Now we're fishing. So there's both rods. This one is the one that's down 35. This one is down um, about 20 feet. And we're gonna start trolling now. Hopefully one of these goes off, bink. Just like, you know, salmon trolling in the ocean with the downrigger. Pops off the downrigger, fish on, and we'll bring it in, hopefully. So let's see if we can find that school again. I went over, I definitely went over a good school there. Um, there should be more. We'll see, I might have to turn around and back and go down, back around it. Anyways, that's the setup. That's the double downrigger setup. Um, this just allows me to cover a couple different water depths and fish two rods on the downrigger, on one single downrigger. So, anyways, let's catch some fish. Oh, there we go. Is it on there? I think it's on. Yeah, I think it's on. Get it off the clip. Yeah, there we go. There's a fish on there. 
All right, well, it took long enough. Had to work for it. I think we finally got our first kokanee. Oh, oh, it just came off. Shoot. Oh, dang. All right, well, we caught one, flipped it out on accident, but we got one. All right, well, I got my first one that was on this little spinner here with a, tipped it with a little piece of corn. Unfortunately, I popped it off on accident, but that's okay. We should be able to find a few more. Just put another piece of corn on here. All right, let's get this thing back in. Oh yeah, there's definitely a, a good school of them right here. I think that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. All right, let's try not to lose this one. What's that? <laughs> oh, oh. Taku says I always do that when I get a fish on. All right, there we go. Let's try not to lose this one. <laughs> no, that's all right. You can keep your triangle net. All right. There's my first color. I think the other one was actually a little bit bigger, but you know, unfortunately that one flopped back in. So that's my first real, uh, 20 feet, 20 feet down. There's my first real kokanee that I didn't lose. You can't count them if they drop back in. So that's my first one. Like I said, they're not gonna be huge, but that's my first kokanee salmon. Um, they stocked them in this lake, I believe. Um, as like almost like food for the larger or for the bass that are in here they have some big i think spotted bass actually um, so that's where they stock them in here but before the bass get them if we can get them first then we'll obviously take them so there's one hopefully more to come all right let's get it back down and do that again the limit here is 10 so if we can get 10 of them that would be ideal Here we go. Yeah, got him. He feels a little bigger. Yeah, this one, this one got a little fight to it. The last one I wasn't really sure if it was on, but this one I know for sure is on here. And uh, like I was saying earlier, they have really soft mouth, so we're fighting them pretty light. I mean, normally any kind of trout, I always fight them light anyways. Super light tackle, but... Hold on. Oh, get in here. I don't know. Okay. Oh, just in time. And that would have been... Almost came off there. Let's get him on a stringer. There's a little kokanee salmon, I think. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a kokanee salmon is basically uh, a silver salmon that's landlocked. Um, so, it's a coho salmon that's landlocked. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but anyways. There's number two. The both fish I've caught so far, well, I did catch one on this one, but then I lost it. Um, but anyways, both of the fish that I've kept are in this little pink hoochie. Basically a little, I don't know why they hit this to be honest. A little like squid imitation with a little flasher on top there. That's what we've been catching them on. And then all I'm doing with that, is just adding a couple pieces of corn to the bottom there. Making sure that looks nice and straight. And that's it. There we go. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Kokini baby. Now we're starting to get the hang of it. Now we're starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, they fight pretty good for their size. Oh, it just came off. Dang it. I think there's one on here. Oh yeah. Kokini on. Kokini on. All right, let's try to land this one. Even though they're not very big, they're seeming to be challenging to land. Just like their big cousin, the king salmon in the ocean. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if they're biting because they're so small. They don't um, pop the downrigger off the cable. Okay, there we go. Got him. Um, what are they saying? They don't pop the downrigger off of the, uh, the clip, so you really have to pay attention to your... Oh, Hold on. Anyways, what I was saying is uh, sometimes the bite is really subtle. You don't, because uh, they're so small, they don't pop the, the uh, line off of the downrigger clip. So you really got to watch the tip of, your, tip of your rod. Sometimes it's just a little bounce. And uh, that's one of these little kokanee. So anyways, number three. He's on there. I think one was on, or one hit it, missed it, and then this one came back and got it. Like I was saying with the last one, it's tough to tell. Oh, this one's jumping. It's tough to tell sometimes with the bite. There we go. That might be our biggest one yet. Yeah, I think that's the biggest one yet. Number four. Yeah, I'm on. Kokanee on. Kokanee on. Just like I'm king salmon fishing again. That's number five. Come on. Stay on there. All right, that's six. All right, guys, brief intermission here. Our buddy, good friend, Taku from Outdoor Chef Life just cooked us up something here. I think he's cooking up some of his kokanee. So I know one thing's for sure, anytime Taku's gonna offer me anything, I'm gonna head over there and eat it. Take a stick, bro. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Oh, this is a lime. Sure. Go ahead. This is a lime? Yeah. Oh, it's still sizzling. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't get any fresher than this. That cooks pretty fully. Yeah, a little bit, huh? Not, I mean, obviously not like as good as a ocean salmon, but. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's better than trout. Yeah, it is. I think there's one on here. I can't tell. There is one on here. Get in here. That's eight. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me today. I think I ended up with eight kokanee. Could have had 10. I lost a few. Um, but all in all, a fun day. And bonus, I got to eat a fresh one off of... Uh, Taku's Grill. So anyways, fun day out here. Make sure you check him out as well as Ense. Both of them out here with me today. Catch some kokanee. And uh, yeah, fun little relaxing video out here today. First time for me targeting kokanee salmon. And uh, I'm sure if I did it again, I'd be a little more, a bit better prepared and I could uh, dial it in a little bit more. But anyways, fun little adventure. Thank you to Ense again for taking us out here, showing us the ropes. 
and uh, thank you to Taku for, for providing us lunch. So anyways, check them both out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I saw a bunch of smoke coming from your kayak. I was concerned for a bit, but I figured you, <laughs> I figured it was for a good reason.